Hello. So, after Bob's almost being erased from existence several times adventure, we've uh, retrofitted a different class of uh, explorer, and Jebediah is going to go out and fulfill the role that Bob was intended to do. The first step of that role is planting a flag on Minmus. After that, he'll be dancing around Minmus and getting all of Minmus's juicy, juicy science. The key to this whole endeavor is that this does not have nearly enough fuel to dance around Minmus and get to every sp every every single place on Minmus. What it does have is it's got a mining base in orbit around Minmus. Once it plants the flag, the mining base can land on the flag and start to mine carbonite and then transfer it into this vehicle. And I think you'll be very impressed at the mods that allow this to happen. Um, and perhaps it will convince you to try and make one of your own. Not a, not a mod necessarily, but a mining base. It's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Assuming nothing else goes wrong. I oh, probably shouldn't have had those happen all at the same time, but that's fair enough. Or faring enough. Ha -ha. Our duty here is to land on Minmus and plant a flag right smack in the middle of a carbonite blob. You can see, on this map view, we can see the carbonite spackling the map. Don't get used to that. Uh, it doesn't work. It stops working when you get within 300,000 meters of, of uh, Minmus, which makes it very, very hard to actually land on a blob because you can't friggin' see them. Oh, look at that. It's offset. That might be what the issue is. So you can see how it floats. We got a second, like, Minmus shell off to the side there. And this has been a bug for a while now. Um, gone through several versions. I don't know whether it's just something about my install or what, but... Uh, it's basically useless to try and line up any kind of approach vector with that kind of a map. Um, instead, you've got to go into your ship view and look down at Minmus here, see? And this you can really see. Push. A nice graceful landing. Now we could just stand here, but we do plan to land a very heavy ship um, very close to this particular location, and we have lots of fuel left, so I think our best bet is to move away. Alright, so that's everything we needed. Let's switch back to our mining base and land at that flag. Here's the big advantage of putting down a flag. I can now take a look here on my nav ball, and it'll tell me exactly what's going on. And the nav ball clearly says I need to burn north in order to pass across the top of it. So that's what I'll be doing. And you can see how that is way, way easier than trying to actually eyeball it and come down like we did before. And with this heavy-ass ship, that would have taken a lot of effort and a lot of fuel, given that uh, we already used up a quarter of our fuel and we didn't do anything, really. There we go. So, we are now in the carbonite hot zone. There's a couple of things we want to do. First off, we want to turn off all of our engines. That way we'll never accidentally launch ourselves. <laughs> Alright, so the way that these bases work is that you mine carbonite up from the ground. Carbonite drills are uh, a little bit annoying. All other kinds of carbonite use are non-specific. They, it doesn't matter where the carbonite hold is, it just takes from all the carbonite holds equally. But with carbonite drills, they actually have to be either attached to or in a stack with the uh, carbonite containment system. And otherwise they just don't work, which is really stupid, but I guess what can you do? As the carbonite gets mined, we want to turn it into fuel, which we do like this. And uh, another gotcha is that these fuel lines are actually have these actually have to run the wrong way from the fuel tank to the converter. While this is happening, we're going to get out and we're going to transfer ourselves into one of the more livable modules. We don't 
really have much interest in staying in that cramped little command module now that we're on the ground. So there's, there's our base, everything working. There's only one piece of the puzzle left, and it's going to have to wait until we've got enough liquid fuel. All right, now we've got enough liquid fuel. As you might remember, our uh, vessel uh, that hops around the moon here has about 400 liquid fuel, and we burned a little bit of it. So let's go ahead and resupply it. Mining base to the Minmus Diver. Let's send over some snacks. And let's send over some liquid fuel. And let's send over some oxidizer. And let's use carbonite. And what does this do? This colony logistics mod just transfers that shit over. We don't have to have a ship manually run that particular gauntlet. And there we are. The transfer has succeeded. So let's go and visit our... I'll close that down. Let's go and visit our lander. Please exist. Yes, it still exists! Your sacrifice, almost sacrifice, was not in vain, Bob. We don't care about carbonite anymore. Oh, look, we're full. In fact, we're over full, but this overage is um, illusory. It only exists to allow you to transfer it to other tanks before you take off. The instant we take off, that goes away. Uh, and we are also full of snacks again. See? So from here, I can dance around Minimus to my heart's content. I literally have infinite fuel, and I have very close to infinite stacks, snacks. Just because I have a big stash of them. Uh, I can't generate any, but I have plenty. Well, that is how you build this system. And as you can probably understand, it's quite easy, easy to transfer fuel from the ground to orbit. So you can have a ship park it in orbit around the moon, refuel it, and then send it out over to Venus or whatever. So this really, really makes operations uh, in faraway places a lot more fun. It doesn't allow you to launch new vehicles or any of that stuff, but just the ability to transfer fuel without the pain in the ass of actually moving ships back and forth, that is so relieving. Um, and it is such, it's such a, a cool idea, and it works great. So I'd recommend you use it. If you're wondering what mod this is, this is the Carbonite mod combined with the um, uh, uh, Carbitat mod. I, it's called something specific. But the guy who makes the Carbonite mod also makes the same car also makes the Carbit uh, the Carbitat mod. So just go to his links, uh, look up the Carbonite mod, and then install all of his stuff. It's all great.